Unreal Engine powers some of the biggest VR experiences, from Robo Recall to Echo VR. Unreal Engine powers virtual reality games and applications such as car configurators and digital twins. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can get set up for VR in Unreal Engine. Hey there, my name's Luke, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can get set up completely for virtual reality inside of Unreal Engine. We're going to be showing you how you can set up all the prerequisites, that being the Quest Link software. We're then going to show you how you can pair and connect your headset to your computer. We're then going to show you how you can set up your VR preview so we can actually test our VR experiences in Unreal Engine directly on our headset. And then lastly, we're going to be showing you how we can create some simple, grabbable items so that way we can start building in VR. For this video, I am going to be using the Meta Quest 3 headset. However, the process for the Quest 2, the 3S, is going to be exactly the same. If you're using a HTC headset or other, the process is very, very similar. Just instead of using Quest Link like I'm going to be, you're going to be using their software. But all of the stuff on the Unreal Engine side is going to be exactly the same. With all of that being said, let's jump straight into the prerequisites and get started. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to need to do is download the Quest Link software. The Quest Link software is going to be what is communicating with your headset. So I've left the link for this down in the description below. Like I said, if you're using a headset that is not the Quest 3, feel free to go to the manufacturer's website for this. But inside of here, I'm just going to go ahead and download the Meta Quest Link app. I'm going to let it download and then I'm going to open it up. Once it has opened, we're just going to install it like any other software. So we're just going to agree to the terms and conditions, choose an installation location, press install, and then we're going to leave it to do its thing and download. Once that's finished downloading, it's going to quickly install. The process is going to be super, super straightforward. But then when it does finish, it's going to open up the MetaQuest Link application. So now that we've got the MetaQuest Link application, what we need to do now is pair our headset to the Quest application so that we know when we get into Unreal Engine, we can use Quest Link to hook all of this up. Now, before we do go into this section, there is one thing that I did want to mention. There is two ways of connecting our Quest 3 headset to our computer. The first one is by just simply using a USB-C cable from the headset to the computer itself. Or alternatively, you can also use Wi-Fi and use something called AirLink. AirLink is going to be what I'm using for this video. So no cables needed, straight to one real engine, straight to the headset. It's really, really good. Just a couple of pros and cons about both of those so you know what you're getting yourself in for. So with the cabled approach, that's going to be the most reliable and the most fast way of connecting the headset. So when I say most fast, I just mean it's going to have the most bandwidth, the best performance, things are going to look better. Just it's going to be fantastic. However, with the Air Link mode, it's still really good. It's really easy. It's really convenient. Um, but sometimes it does drop out because it uses Wi-Fi. It's never going to be as reliable as a hardwired connection. And of course, it is also isn't going to be able to have as much bandwidth as a cable. Now, the Air Link is still a really, really solid option. And it is definitely something that is viable for development and something that I do. I use it every single time simply because I don't want to worry about a cable. So once you have got either USB-C cable into your computer and your headset, or you're just down to use the AirLink mode like I am, let's go ahead and jump into this next section where we pair the two up. So just going back to our QuestLink application for a second, what we need to do is go over to Devices, and then we are going to be adding a headset. Choose the headset that you're working with. For me, like I said, I'm using the Quest 3, so I'm going to choose that. Then it's going to ask me about a connection method. Like I said, you can either use the USB-C cable or the Air Link. I'm going to be using the Air Link for this, and then I'm going to press continue. Now it's prompting us to put our headset on and set up our headset to use Quest Link. And again, we're going to walk you through this process. It's really straightforward. Now that we're inside of VR, it's time for us to turn on our Quest Link so we can connect our computer to our VR headset. To do that, we're going to navigate over to our quick settings. Then once we're in here, we're going to go to our regular settings. And then inside of our settings, there is a link tab on the left hand side. I want you to go ahead and click on this. And then inside of here, we have got a link option. 
make sure this link option is turned on and then once you've done that what you're going to do is just go ahead and press launch and that is going to allow us to start that pairing process once we press launch you can see here we've got a couple of options we can use air link over wi-fi make sure you turn this on if you are going to be using air link like i am or if you're using a cabled connection, just turn that off. And then if you're on that connecting page on your PC, the PC is going to show up here. Now, bear in mind, I've got a cable connected to my PC for charging purposes. I could use this for the, um, the, the link, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to be using this air link. But again, the process for either which one that you're going to do there is going to be exactly the same. So I'm then going to see I've got my computer and then I'm going to press pair. So as you can see here on my computer now, it has detected the headset and I've got a pairing code. I can go ahead and press confirm and then it's just going to tell us that pairing is now complete. And with that, I can now go over to that devices tab again and I can see my Quest 3 headset in here. OK, now that we have got our headset paired to our computer, it is time for us to set up our Unreal Engine project using the VR template and testing it inside of Unreal Engine so we can see all of this work. So what we're going to do now is just open up the Epic Games launcher, go to the Unreal Engine tab and library just like you normally would. Then we're going to open up the latest version of Unreal Engine that you've got. For me, at the time of recording, I'm using Unreal Engine 5.6. The process of, again, just getting a VR template and then also um, testing in VR is the same for older versions and more than likely will also be the same with newer versions as well. So go ahead and launch your engine and let's create a project together. Once your Unreal Engine project browser has opened up, what we're going to do is go ahead and create a brand new project with that VR template. So we're going to go over to games. We're then going to choose virtual reality. And then just like any other project, we can choose a location and we can choose a name. So I'm just going to give this the name VR demo one. And then I'm going to go ahead and press create. And that's going to start launching a Unreal VR project that we can test with. So Unreal Engine has now launched on our computer and you can see we have got our VR world. We can look around and you can see there's a couple of guns on the table. There's some boxes and some other things. But what I can't do yet is use the VR preview in the playback controls over here. So what we're going to do is just make sure that our headset is in our Quest Link mode. And then once it is, we're going to be able to see we can do that VR preview and we're good to go. So let's jump back into the headset. OK, so just hopping back into VR for a second, then what we're going to do is simply just launch our Quest Link. To do that, we're going to go to Quick Settings. Then we're going to go over to Link. And what we should see is that our computer is already in here as we've already paired it. That being said, we're going to go ahead and just press Launch. And what should happen then is you're going to be taken into the Quest Link environment, which should be completely white. Ignore that error there, that's just my headset hasn't got much battery. And now what we can do is inside of Unreal Engine, we can now see we've got that all important VR preview option available and we can click it. And just like that, we're in VR. So now that we're in that VR preview, this Unreal Engine environment is streaming straight to my headset um, without the need of the cable or anything like that. But more importantly, I've got hands which are moving from the controller. I can move my headset around. I can use the right thumbstick to teleport. Um, I can even pick up the guns off of the table and start shooting them. So with all of that done, our Unreal Engine is now fully set up for us to start building in VR with our headset. And with all of that being said, we've got an environment in Unreal Engine and you can just start building things just like you would with any other game. So you can move things in the environment, build new environments, start doing blueprints. What I want to show you now is just one last thing is how we can set up a grabbable item. Also, just a very quick note before we do move any further, is that if your VR preview stops working, so let's say it becomes grayed out, just go into your headset again and just turn on your Quest link and you're good to jump straight in and work again. It shouldn't happen too much if you're using the cable. However, if you're using the air link, it does drop out occasionally between uses. So don't worry too much. Just jump straight back in, use that air link and we're good to go. So back inside of Unreal Engine for a second then, the great thing about this virtual reality template is it is a template. It comes with blueprints already for our grabbable items. So we can start changing these items really, really easily and we're going to do that together. 
So let's take a look. So inside of my scene that I've got here, you can see I have got some cubes and I have got some guns. And with that, they have different behavior. So the guns are picked up one way where they're always aligned. But you've also got the cubes where you can just grab them anywhere, you can throw them, you can do whatever you want. And what I'm going to do is to show you how we can take this, duplicate it, and then add in your own static mesh instead. So right click on one of these cubes, go to browse to asset to find it in your content browser. And you can see here, we have got grabbable underscore small cube. This is going to be our template. So what I'm going to do to make a duplicate of this is just right click on it, duplicate, and I'm just going to give this the name BP underscore grabbable statue. Um, because I'm going to try and use a statue 3D model or just anything really. But to then change the mesh inside of this, open it up just like any other blueprint, go to our viewport, select the static mesh component that we've got here, and then if we just zoom in a little bit, you can see we have got static mesh and SM underscore chamfer cube. Let's see what else we've got in here. If I search for statue, looks like I don't have a statue in here, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is just find anything that I feel like might be good for this. Um, that just comes with this. Of course, if you've downloaded your own content from the Fab Store, you can absolutely use this. It will just come up in your list and you can search for it by name. And what I'm going to be choosing from here is just, it's just an object here called Control Rig Sphere Free Mill. I'm just going to be using this as my statue. But again, you can use absolutely any mesh that you want. Now, one quick note with this is make sure that your collision presets is set up so that this is a physics actor. And then also open up that 3D model in the static mesh editor and just make sure that you have got collision. So if you can't see your collision, you can display that. We can display that by just going to the little eye icon in the top right of the viewport, going to simple collision. And you can see we have already got collision for this object, which means I'm going to be able to detect it and pick it up. If you don't, feel free to just go in and add in some simplified collision there. But with that done, I'm going to go ahead and press compile, save, and then minimize it. At this point, we're ready to just simply drop our grabbable item that is newly created straight into our scene. What I'm going to do here is just put it on the table just between my gun and my cubes, just so I can reach it a little bit easier and just make sure it's not in the floor or anything like that. If you need to turn off your snapping, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. So with that done, it's time to jump into VR preview. So again, go to VR preview. And now we are back inside of virtual reality. We can see we've got our table laid out here. But most importantly, we can see we've got our grabbable object right here. And what I'm going to do is just teleport in front of it, reach out, grab it. And you can see now we have got our new item that we can pick up that is created by ourselves. And we can also just pass it from hand to hand, just like that. And we can also throw it and again, just use that left gripper to do that and then just let go and then just throw it on the floor. I can also throw the other items as well. Or I can even go up and grab one of my guns and I can even start shooting at it as well. And you can see it moves because it is a physics object. So that's everything that I wanted to show you for this video. We're now in a point where we're fully set up in Unreal Engine and able to start working in VR. And we know how to create items that can be picked up. This is just the beginning of your VR development journey. That being said, make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this. Check out our website, tinker.academy for more learning material on VR as well. But for now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. As always, stay awesome, keep creating.